it's normally you, we to do step flashing properly we require a three and a half inch overlap now without removing this i can't tell you exactly what that overlap is but it, it's going to be close okay and then up here we don't have this crimped properly so it was not done appropriately on the head flash that's correct and, and you might just get a visual down here at the bottom corner and you can see so this piece mm -hmm. is part of the skylight. Mm -hmm. This head flashing piece normally would cap down nice and tight. In some cases, and this is one of those cases where the, the window is sitting lower than the head flashing will allow, mm -hmm. you have an intermediary piece that goes in. And you can see this intermediary piece goes down all the way to the bottom here. It's not crimped tight, but it's there. And up there, it's not seated down properly. Mm -hmm. So that's an installation error. That is definitely an installation issue. And that's why water would have been leaking from the four points. Well, uh, again, I, I can't swear that that's where it's coming in at. Obviously, I've got some concerns with the way that roofing is done up above the skylight, uh -huh. but this definitely could be a potential issue as well. And you're explaining to us that all the installation on all of these skylights with this material is not done correctly. Well, uh, uh, what I'm saying is I don't know the specifications of this roofing material, but this is not typically considered proper roofing procedures to have a seam, a downhill seam, overlap the wrong direction. So this technically should have lapped on top of this. So this skylight is the correct skylight for this pitch, but it was not installed properly. Is that correct? Well, this, this skylight is what we call a deck mount skylight, okay? It does require a pitch. Typically, it's installed with shingles. And our flashing kit that we have here has our head flashing, sill flashing, typically would be woven in with shingles. And in this case, they chose to use a continuous uh, side flashing or a modified flashing, which is acceptable. It doesn't void the skylight warranty per se, but the responsibility for making that water tight falls on the roofing manufacturer and the roofing that they're applying to that metal. And who are you? Uh, Wayne Feltman, District Sales Manager with VLUX Skylights. 